you'll be shocked by all the Halloween and anything villainous merch that is out already at Disney World. That's right here in Disney Springs. And you'll be shocked at the places you're gonna find it. Wait till you see all the incredible new Haunted Mansion merch, as well as all the villains merch, and also skeleton merch and much more. Trust me, you wanna watch this whole vlog. It's not always it fun, not always it spectacular, but it is funny too. I'm Marie with LBBT viewers, never a dull moment. And again, when we do merch first, we love showing you things first. Let us know what you think as you're watching some of the stuff we show you. First off, you won't believe where we're at. It is the Christmas store. Yes, if you want to find all the coolest Disney merchandise in all the Disney parks for Halloween, Haunted Mansion, anything that is villains related, it's not in the regular store, it's in the Christmas store. Yes, it's in the Christmas store, not just, again, Halloween stuff, but Hades merchandise. I mean, check this out, feel the heat. Again, we are in July, not even halfway through July. This is crazy, this is crazy. I mean, I know there's a movie, so this makes sense, but let me show you more stuff. Sorry guys, I'm already laughing at the Christmas music while I'm explaining Haunted Mansion merchandise. Um, but yeah, it's where it is here in Disney Springs in Disney World. The Haunted Mansion movie hasn't even come out yet officially, but this is part of the merch nonsense. I'm a heartbreaker. Oh girl, yes you are. For $35, that is a heartbreaker. That is too expensive. This is very, very thin. That could be a $25 shirt. Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's see this one. Maybe this one won't break my heart or my bank account. $54.99. No, that's actually really good because you're getting a hoodie as well as an ombre color. I know from screen printing, we make it here at Shop LBB, things like this. I know, when you do these ombre prints, it's very costly. It actually is really difficult to print as well as it's on the sleeve. So, nothing on the back, but it's good material. It's nice and soft. And so for basically only $20 more, you're getting actually just something cool and big and really difficult to screen print. How gorgeous is this place setting? Oh my goodness. If I was having a Disney Haunted Mansion wedding, this would be it. This is a gorgeous charger plate and salad plate for only $25. It's really good quality. It looks very fancy. Honestly, it reminds me of something you would see like at a wedding, like, you know, the charger plate. The only reason I know what a charger plate is is because I had a wedding and that's probably the only reason you have a charger plate. Let me know in the comments. I don't know, maybe I'm just not an adult yet. Does anybody else have charger plates? These are $40. I think this is a little bit more expensive. Um, it's really cool artwork on the plates of our favorite characters, but I don't know, these are pretty expensive. I would be scared to eat on these. Can you even eat on these? Um, $40, it says, it says you can eat on it. Okay, it says it's microwave safe and dishwasher safe. That's impressive because the graphics on these are so intricate, I would be worried to, to do that. But hey, you know what, for $40, $10 a plate, that's not bad based on the fact that you can't actually microwave and you can actually dishwasher. All right, you know Constance is famous for her wedding cake and all her weddings. I love the cake tray. Oh my goodness, you can put little scary cupcakes on it. Constance could also use this instead of her ax. See, these are awesome. You put these over by your TV, you can put things in them or by your bed. I love it, it's dear sweet Leota, beloved by all in regions beyond now, but having a ball. We have a shirt like this at shoplb.com. I'm gonna have to get these, I think. These are so cool. Because you can also use them as bookends. You can use them by your TV, by your bed. Also as decor in your house. And I love that they finally came out with these. They're really heavy though, heads up. They gotta be really expensive for being so heavy. Honestly, speaking of things Constance could use for her husband, these are $50 almost as a set. But I do love that they have that glitter to them so it kind of has a nice sheen that looks expensive. So they look like they're worth 25 each. Um, but I would say definitely, if you're a Haunted Mansion fan, these are all in neat. Please tell me this is a butter tray. Oh no, it's a candle, which is still really cool. Oh my goodness, let's see, what, what does death smell like? Delicious. <laughs> it actually kind of smells like incense. Like something witches would be brewing. I'm not gonna lie, I really wish it was with butter. <laughs> Let me know. What a way to serve butter. <laughs> no, but seriously, this is a really cool way to do candles. What's really cool is it ends up being like a tchotchke as well um, on your you know, mantle or decor for Halloween. 
and again does smell though like a witch's brew yes very sagey very sagey definitely a lot of incense definitely patchouli you know it smells like a grateful dead concert oh this is a great way to spill your coffee all over your face Anytime Disney makes these mugs, I I love how they look, but let me tell you, it's really complicated. You gotta get really creative. You're like, you know, so you can always like oh, that way. If you go this way, it spills all out at you. So for $25, you can get burnt. <laughs> but it looks cool. It's like look, it's like a tomb. I love it. I don't know. Tomb sweet tomb. Ooh, what is this? A cutting board. $60? What? No, put that back. $60. No, that's silly. While we're doing our fun Disney merchandise vlogs here at Disney Springs or anywhere in Walt Disney World or Disneyland, let us know if you agree with the stuff we loved or didn't love. There's no right or wrong answers. Um, and let us know what you call the prices. Like this one is $40 which I think is really good compared to the t-shirt that was only 35 over there, which I thought was too expensive. You get a lot more, again, cool fabric and print going on here, a pocket. So definitely this is more worth the cost. Ooh, we got a fun bowling shirt for $60 and the fabric's actually really nice. I've joked in past vlogs, a lot of this feels like tablecloth. This one does not. It feels really nice. This is my personal favorite for the price too. It is $60. But there is so much going on from patchwork to different colors and prints. It gives me those old uh, Pulp Fiction vibes. Think like the uh, Universal Horror uh, Monsters, but instead with our favorite little ghosties. I love it. So cool. Again, we are in the Christmas store here in Disney Springs, but there is a lot of villain merchandise from, again, Ursula. That's right. I mean, look at this. What a, what a way to scare your guests at your house. I don't know about this one. <laughs> it's a little scary. Reminds me of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Let me know if you're a Disney fan, if you remember what I'm talking about. The villains are always in style, even if it's not Halloween. Even when we're designing merchandise for shoplbv.com. Again, which I think, can you wear this after Halloween? I definitely, this you can wear after Halloween, which I love. It is $40, but you are getting double fabric and the stitching's really good. And the quality here of an actual embroidered flame. I think it's a great deal. And again, if you love Hades, he never gets enough merch. There's even shorts. That's cool. This is really cool too. Does anybody know what goes in here in Snow White and the Evil Queen? Well, it's not hearts. It's these and they're coasters, which I think is really cool. And it's actually a beautiful box. So if you're wanting to adorn things for a villainous Halloween or just in general, you're a fan of Snow White, that's a really cool way to do it. And again, I love the jackets. I can't pull this off, but somebody cool could. Somebody cool could. Now this is the famous man-eating wreath that just came out here in Disney World and Disneyland. And that man-eating wreath adorns, of course, the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland, as well as, oh, it lights up. Oh my goodness, I didn't even know. Oh, that's really scary. Oh, it's, oh, it's eyes are moving. It's, oh, it's, eyes are watching you. Oh my God. Oh, producer Ashley, be careful. It only eats men, it's okay. Not women, just men, man angry. It's very lightweight for something that's animatronic. Um, that's really cool. It is $65, but you're basically getting an animatronic, which I think is really cool, which is very cool. And it's very lightweight. I gotta say, that's pretty impressive. I would want two in my house. That gets a little expensive, but this is really neat. And if you didn't know, the man eating wreath is super popular. One of our most popular shirts, the Shabba Bee, by the way, is when Fergie wore our Tis the Season shirt, the man eating wreath. Yes, Fergie from the Black Eyed Peas. That was really cool. So, every year this guy comes out in a different form. And this year I think he might be in his best form yet. This is also new. I don't know what this is. It's $25. Obviously, I knew it's the mayor, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. I don't know what it does, but it looks cool. Maybe it's like a table end or something. This is also new, and I love the patchwork, and I love that they were able to integrate different color and gray. Sometimes you don't see anything but black with Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, so, so cool. The patchwork's awesome on the sleeve, and it is only $60. Now, you might be saying real only. No, trust me. A spirit jersey that has not as much effort and work into it costs sometimes easily a hundred bucks. 
Um, so I think this is a great deal, especially with all of the extra things. There's even zero as a animated print on the sides. Really cool. This is a Jack Skellington crop top. I cannot do a crop top, but if you can, it's cool. It is $40, but there is a mesh here, so that's kind of cool. Um, so it just has a different layer ability, having, again, it kind of raised off the top. But the quality of fabric's really nice. So I would say it's actually worth it, even though it's a crop top. Have you ever wanted graph paper and Nightmare Before Christmas? Well, now you can do your math for all the times you love watching the movie. No, it, is. it just reminds me of graph paper a little, but it is cute. I think even the checks. I just don't know how flattering on my figure it would be because of the graph paper. But I do love the idea of seeing our favorite characters in different colors. I love the idea of green because you only see usually Nightmare Before Christmas merch in black. But again, I don't know. I'll just give this a shot maybe because I do like dresses. Oh, is it only $40? Oh, this is only $40 and it's a dress? Oh yeah, give it a shot. That's a that's that's this t-shirt right here. Let me know. What would you pick? Yes, so he missed out on the most popular merch last year that sold out. It was very in the vein of the Silly Symphony with the skeleton. Um, but they do have some pieces that look new to me. I don't remember this. It is fifty dollars though. Um, I don't know if that's from this, but I don't really remember the glasses either. Again, it could be because they sold out so quickly last year. Again, this set is very expensive. This candle holder is $35, also pretty expensive. I also don't remember this from last year. Let me know if some of these pieces look new to you. This sold out, I mean, even this did uh, as well, so I get it. I do remember that from last year. That is the bar um, as well as the ice holder. I think Disney just wants to make sure you're ready to party for Halloween. And now we're in the co-op in Disney Springs here in Walt Disney World. And you can find the new 100 year merchandise. Every decade gets its own. This is the 70s with Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem Muppets. Wait till you see our vlog at the Jim Henson Studios hanging out with Brian Henson. Yes, it was so cool. And we even got to see a sneak peek of the Dr. Teeth van, which is not on this, but this is very cool. Let us know in the comments, are you a fan of the Muppets? Do you want to see more Muppet merch? I love the Muppets. I wish there was more Muppet merch. We try to make as much as we can, but they should need more. I like the bag, but it is tiny. That's my only problem with lounge flies. It's like, I can't even put, look at the water. Again, I can't even really put my water in. And this is a small water. I usually have a double the size. This is the baby water today. Baby water doesn't even fit in this. But again, my Muppet loving heart wants it even though it can't fit more than like my cell phones and my vlogging camera. Um, but it is $90. You do get an annual pass discount, which will make it, you know, about $18 less. I just, they get me every time. Whenever there's Muppet stuff, I'm like, oh, that's so cool. And I love the fringe. Let me know in the comments what you think. These are only $40. Now you might be saying, Marie, that sounds expensive. No, Disney has upped their prices on ears. And these are amazing because they actually have what's almost a pin enamel as the bow here. So it's very, very high quality, sturdy, but also lightweight. And I mean, when have we ever seen Aristocat ears that are cute? This is adorable for $40 and then you get the annual pass discount. It's basically the price of a regular set of Disney ears. And how cute are the rescuers? Oh my goodness. Okay, how much are these babies? $35 isn't bad. You get with a fancy plush comes also with a bag and I like it because I want to collect all of the stuffed animals from all the decades. If you look over here they also still have all the other different eras. This is the three little pigs, this is Fantasia, they even have the shaggy dog from the 60s over here somewhere. Um, again, I think it's really neat if you're a collector to be able to collect all of these decades as we celebrate 100 years of Disney. Let me know if you have ever collected anything from this collection or in general anything celebrating the 100 years. Uh, what do you think is like a must have piece? So if you watched our other merch vlogs, you know I loved this flower pot. It's expensive at $35, but now it's 30% off. And then you get the 20% off with your uh, annual pass. 
so you really get a great discount. So the only place you can get the flower pot is over here in Disney Springs, over at the co-op. But again, uh, definitely wait at the end of like a festival. You're gonna get things for like dirt cheap. So say you always wanted a little garbage can with a little orange bird, now is your chance. And here we are at the newly updated Trend D, it's called, here at Disney Springs and Disney World. It's a lot brighter, there's a lot more space to walk around, because it used to be all of us like bottlenecked in between stuff. And to again, celebrate the new whole space, let us know if you've seen this before, what you think of the new renovations. But they also have some more Haunted Mansion merch that just debuted, like the Spirit jersey that is $85. Remember I was saying earlier how those hoodies um, again, cost uh, easily $25, $30 less, um, but I do like the color. It, it's, again, not the same black we always see. Um, our Haunted Mansion Leota tee is like this with the color. I just, I like seeing something a little different for the Haunted Mansion. So I think this is a must with especially, I'm guessing, a glow-in-the-dark back. What do you guys think? I bet it's going to glow-in-the-dark. And anything that says there's room for one more sale. That's what it is. Room for one more sale. Count me in. That's cute. I like it. Let me know what you think. I do like the fabric. It's not like that hard uh, spirit jersey fabric. And then I thought this dress was really cute. But speaking of hard fabric, it feels like tablecloth. I definitely think for something like this, it's got to be stretchy material. Um, it does not give. So it gives just a tiny bit. But again, with these buttons, you know, ladies, you know, some pops out, you know, like that. Um, but again, I think this would have been really cute if the material was a little different. So that it was almost like a, a spandexy or something to really form fit to the body. But it's still a really cute print. I like it. Um, I just don't know with the fabric, it's really, it's that tablecloth fabric again. No, Disney, no. And there's a new bag and ears set. Um, the bag is $88 and I think it's very cute. Again, lounge flies to me are just small just because I carry way too much stuff. Um, but I do love the colors. It's very different than anything Disney's ever made uh, when it comes to Haunted Mansion merch. You're getting a lot more of those neon colors, very much those 90s, almost reminds me of Powerline. Um, but I love, again, the eyes as a bow. I think that's fun. I also think the hat is really cool. It glows in the dark and it's subtle. I actually think, that, oh, that's cool. Let's see how much it costs. Oh, look, there's even, oh my goodness. That's a, this is a win. For only $30, not only is there hidden gems, like the eyes that glow in the dark there, the back here with a actual patch, this with the really cute print. This is definitely a win. Good job, Disney. I think our best buy. Uh, might actually be the hat. So we don't know how much these cost. I'm guessing $40 because they feel like those fancier versions. I keep looking for the tag. They just, no. That just means they're probably expensive. Even a matching pajama set, but I think the shirt is so cute. You could actually wear this as a shirt in my, my books. There is the pants underneath that you can't see easily. They're hidden in there. They're in, they're in there, guys. But, oh no. Long hair problems. For fifty dollars, pants and a shirt. Wait, this can't be. No way. It is. This might be the best deal. Fifty dollars for a shirt and matching pants underneath. Um, is something wrong with the pants? <laughs> oh, they're shorts. Okay, still. For $50, <laughs> just means you get half the pants, the shorts, it's okay, cut in half. $50, though, honestly, the fabric is so nice and soft. It lays really beautifully. There's so much going on with, again, the print. Let me know, how does it look on me? I would get this. But the only issue is I think the ears cost more than the outfit here, where you get shorts and a top. We don't know the prices because they're hiding it from us. No joke, seriously, there's no price tags on any of this. Um, so we're gonna guess, okay, producer Ashley's guessing 60, but you do get the pins in them, which I think is really cool, with everything from the Hitchhiking Ghost to Madame Leota to Constance, to even the cat that is famous for the one red eye in Disneyland. Let me know if you know what I'm talking about. Yes, even the cat. So everything is way more aesthetically pleasing lighter, brighter, also way more space to move. It used to be there was trays and different consoles here. You couldn't just 
walk around. <laughs> so if things get crowded on a uh, Friday night here in Walt Disney World and Disney Springs, don't worry, you can still get your merch easily without the craziness. Ooh, that is cute. I like this. I've seen this before in other variations, but not as a cardigan. $60, not bad. Very cute. I love animals. Count me in anything animals. Now we're at the World of Disney store here in Disney Springs at Disney World. And you're going to find stuff different than was at the co-op that was at the Christmas store. Trust me, you're going to want to roam Disney Springs. Everywhere's got different stuff. And that includes also at the parks. Everywhere's got different things. But I've never seen this in any of the Disney parks ever. It's like a swaddling baby group for your beverage at $40. I would buy this in a heartbeat. Oh, you can... Oh my gosh, you can sling it. It's like, oh my goodness. This is a need. Let me know in the comments. Is this the cutest way to drink water or what? Oh my goodness. That a new purse is so cute. Oh my goodness. I would totally wear this in the park. It's a way to drink water. How cute. I love it. It's very lightweight, by the way. I'm sure once you put liquid in, it's not lightweight, but still adorable. There are tons of new Disney mugs as well. How cute is Animal? Oh my goodness, I might have to get this. We have so much Muppet merch at shoplvb.com. This is a need to drink out of. Now I like that it's circular so I don't pour it on myself. Same with this, very cute. I'm just here for the snacks but what's the price? What's the price? $25.99. It's a little more expensive but oh look at this face. You are so cute. Another reason you want to watch these merch vlogs, we find the really rare unique items that are often hidden. I mean, this is literally on the bottom floor here in the Disney Springs Disney uh, shop. And it is a pottery kit for Hercules. That's right, your own kit to paint your own Greek pottery. How cute. Now to get an idea of what it would look like or what you can do, how amazing is this? It's only $34 with an annual pass. We're getting into the $28 arena. For this giant thing, what a great gift for somebody, as well as, say, just a fun arts and crafts to do at home. And Hercules doesn't get enough love. Let me know in the comments. That poor guy, I mean, he, he can hold the whole world on his shoulders, but no merch, no merch. And again, we are celebrating. It's almost Halloween here in Disney World, and they do have some fun, uh, unique villain items. This is actually really cool. Um, the fabric on the interior is nice and soft. I definitely hope this is price-wise pretty decent. I'm guessing it's going to be similar to this one. $52.99, which isn't bad for all the colors and the fabric. I like it. Now, if you watch our other channel, LBB TV, which is the live streaming channel, we go live every Sunday from the Disney parks for tons of fun and fireworks. You saw me buy a bunch of these because they just came out, literally just came out, and they are adorable. What a cute way to put your favorite stuffed animal on your backpack. Instead of doing the new emos thing where they you put the rubber band on, you can now just attach it as a keychain. Um, I bought a bunch of these. So cute, look at Mickey, you're adorable. And they're very small and lightweight. $14.99, I think it's pretty good because it is a plush and a keychain. And the quality looks pretty good. I mean, look how cute he is. It doesn't look like a weird smush face. Okay, which of these keychains would you pick? I, oh, I, I, bought, I bought a lot of them. If you haven't seen my backpack, look. Well, I mean, there's a lot of stuff sticking out. But <laughs> I swear I have a lot of keychains. Look at this little baby Yoda. More Jack Skellington merch. I do really like that with the tie-dye. Um, it is only $40 with a long sleeve, which I think is a great price because tie-dye is always very expensive to make. Then you have a matching sweatsuit set. Um, I think it's pretty basic. You can kind of honestly with a Cricut make this. Uh, $60, yeah, just, I don't know, glue on, iron on, on, you're good. But this is awesome. I love the fabric. It's really good and soft. And I do like that they are having fun with that bucket hat from earlier this summer we showed you. I get it. I see it. I know what you're doing, Disney. You know what matches. You know. You're like, oh, look, look. And the last time a turning red shirt came out with Four Town, it sold out like that. It was gone. Nobody knows this shirt is out, but now you do. So before it sells out, yeah, I'm not kidding you. It sold out, even with Pittsburgh spelled wrong on their tour shirt, yes. Even with Pittsburgh spelled wrong. Now, it is $40, but it is really good quality fabric. It is tie-dyed as well as double-sided. 
And as somebody who knows screen printing, because we have our own apparel company, this is a great deal. We have visited officially all of the Disney Springs Disney merchandise stores in Disney World. Literally scoured everything for all the newest items, some of the funnest items, some of the most surprising items. Um, but honestly, again, I'm still surprised about Disney and Halloween already. But I came prepared. I came prepared, okay? Um, but let me know, are you prepared for Halloween and Disney? Is it too early? Um, but again, when it's villains or anything Mickey, um, again, that's a year-round stylish thing. And make sure to let me know in the comments what was your favorite item. I answer every comment, by the way. Literally, I answer every comment. So I would love to hear from you. And also see kind of what's the fan favorite every merch vlog. It's always surprising what it ends up being. And make sure that like and subscribe button and go binge watch all of our other fun vlogs. We have so many more things coming from the Jim Henson Studios that we got to hang out with the Muppets and Brian Henson to an incredible tour of some of the neatest parts of Disney you didn't even know about. I'm Marie with LBVT. TV where we never say goodbye on our channel because when there is fun, fashion, and of course adventure, it's never goodbye. It's only see you real soon.